right welcome back to another video of ccnp security so in this video we will be creating a user for fmc so i will go to my systems i will go to user and you can see that it's only one user here admin so what i will do i will go ahead and i will create one more user and i will give some role for that user so i will use a username as moise and our real name is also moise i will give a password any password and you can see that the password length should be at least 8 and maximum number of free logs your logins are 5 if you want to increase you can increase and if you want the password to be expired at a certain time then you can define over here but 0 equal to not it's equal to unlimited and now you can force the password reset on first time if I log in if you can force that user to change your password and check your password strength and you can do your these are your options and next what kind of role you want to give to that particular user so for testing what i will do i will use the security analyst read only so in that way we will know that what we are able to create or not i will click on save now you can see that two users have been created successfully so you see here all the options have been seen here i will go to my system here so i can see many options over here i will go ahead and i will do the logout and i will log in with the newly created user Alright, so this user is just a read only. So you can see that there are not many options over here. There were many options in the admin panel. So I'm getting only overview and analysis. And here I can get the overview, only analysis here. So it's just a read only. So you will be accessing to the some kind of data which you can read, such as like reports or something. If I go to now system, you can see that I am able to just watch or monitor some of these options. But in administrator, we do have many options in there. So that's how you will define the create a user, define a user role for it. So what I will do, I will uh, go back, log out. And I will log in with admin now. And now I should be able to see all the options. that all the options are you are able to see down if i go to my system over here you can see that many options now go to user if you want to delete the user or disable the user you just go to the same option if you want to delete you will delete from here if you want to disable it you can disable from here so I'll go ahead and i will delete it now you can see that the user has been successfully deleted. So this is how you will create the user and this is how you will assign some roles to that user. So that's all for this video. See you in the next video.